Hello, students. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I am doing good, thank God. With a lot of rain. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's raining been, a lot. It has been raining a lot right here as well. But we are here, thank God. Another day. Yes. Well, we're going to wait for your classmates to come. We're going to give them around one or two minutes because right now it's time. So any difficulty you have, do, have you had any difficulty complete, completing the platform? Did you finish completing it or, or anything that you want to consult before we start? Um, by the time I start in, in the class of yesterday in the platform, uh -huh. but I will try to, to continue today, tonight. Great, great. It's, it's very necessary to continue, right? To continue working, to continue advancing, because that is like the most important part of this, right? To continue advancing on it. And so you can be like going over the different uh, the different exercises that they are not very complicated. I think we can complete them very fast. And also about the midterm exam, it is very uh, not different from the things that we have studied, the things that we have seen. So it is not going to be that difficult for all of you. You will see. Hello, hello. Yes. Hello, Martita. Hello, Nubia. Hello, Natalie. Hello, Griselda. And Mr. Manuel Villegas. Welcome. Good evening, teacher. Hi. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Hello, everybody. I am very happy to see you. So uh, about today's class, right? We're going to work a little bit. This is our class number nine and hopefully everything is going to go as planned and perfect. So as everybody is here now, I can see Carlos Antonio now, hello. I can see your cameras on, that's pretty awesome. Okay, the reminders, remember practice your English, be respectful, attend your classes, keep your cameras on and advance in the educational platform. So far you should be finishing section number three in the midterm exam or farther, right? Remember that you can finish the course and later we can just keep on checking, right? If something, if you had a problem with something, you can advance and you can continue checking on the progress, okay? So just to catch up a little bit, what was yesterday's class? What did we talk about in the previous class? How we do for uh -huh. how do we uh, verbs? Uh -huh. Order ordering verbs, good. What else did we Follow study? Verbs. Uh -huh. uh, good and will. Would and will, right? That you use would and will to do what? Can show to show them show. Show to talk yeah. to talk polite, uh, order in a restaurant. To order example. food, exactly. To order food in a restaurant. Yeah. Excellent. To yeah. so order food in a restaurant. That's what we use. Why uh, would and will in this case. And uh, today we are going to be ordering from a menu, right? And for sure we are going to go over a reading, right? We are going to go over a small reading that we have. And it is going to be very nice because the reading is also included in your evaluations of uh, the platforms. So we have here, uh, we're going to start the night by having a discussion, right? In this discussion process, we are going to be working in mini groups of three or four. Why? Because I need everybody to participate and talk. And I have two questions. You can take a picture of the questions or a screenshot or you can write them down if you want. You can write down the questions for you to have them clear. And the questions are, 
In which cases do you consider necessary to leave a tip, right? In which cases do you consider necessary to leave a tip? Do you know what's the meaning of tip? Eh, no. The tip propina. is propina. propina, exactly. Exactly like that. Tip means propina. And what has been the worst restaurant experience you have had? Right? I can tell you, for example, the worst restaurant experience that I have had is when um, I found an animal in the food. And it was the dead animal was there in the middle of a three milk cake. And I was like, oh, it was terrible. And there was uh, this big animal there in the, in the cake. And so I had to call the manager and they tried to fix the situation, but it was difficult. So they were like arguing and fighting and everything. So that has been one of the worst experiences that I have had uh, regarding restaurants. So these are the two questions that you are going to answer with your group. So please try to allow everybody to participate and try to be constant and um, correct at the moment of answering because uh, everybody has to answer. Okay, I am going to make the mini groups. We're going to have just a couple of minutes to do this. And let me see, I am going to make four groups. I'm going to have four groups. And there you go, four groups of three or four people. Okay, there we go. So you are going to receive an invitation to go to the mini groups, discuss the two questions and everybody's going to present their answers, okay? So okay, let's teacher. see, I'm going to move this one to here and we are complete, let's start. There you go. So we're going to go to the groups, make sure that you discuss with your group. There you go, excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And here we have bodies. Bodies, do you have any difficulty to join the group? Hello, bodies. Can you listen to me? Okay, I am going to move you to another group then. There we go. Okay, okay, so we're going to go and check how the students are doing. Hello, bodies, if you can listen to me, I can help you with any difficulty. Hello, Vanessa. Hello, bodies, hello, Vanessa. Vanessa and bodies, we are working in mini groups. Uh, Boris, I have invited you to enter to room number two, and I am going to invite Vanessa right now. Okay, Vanessa, you receive an invitation to work in the group. Let me know if you can do it. Hello, Linda. Okay, uh, Linda, we are working in mini groups. I am going to assign, assign you to a group so you can go and be part of the discussion, okay? Excellent. So we're going to go and check on the different groups. 
Hello, Luis Bonilla. Okay, now we're going to go and check all the students have been assigned. Let's check on the other groups. To the other people. Sería mi turno de preguntarte. Hola. Hola, ¿me escuchas? Yes, we can listen to you. Go ahead. Sí, te escucho. Creo que tú no me escuchas a mí. Ah, es que estoy de mi teléfono y se me hace bien difícil. Lo siento. ¿Qué me decías? Could eh, you please make, make the next question to the other people? Okay. In which case do you consider necessary to leave a tip? Well, Well, are you here? Hi, yes, is the question is for me. Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, in my case, when the uh, the food is delicious or when the uh, service or... In the first case, in... In the which case do you consider necessary to leave a tip? Um, I want experience in at the restaurant for, for example, um, the Pizza Nova uh, is the favorite, my favorite food is, is I like pizza. Uh, the waiter is, is very happy and Cuando uno entra, ¿cómo sería cuando uno entra? No enter. When you enter, when I go in. When I go in. When I go in. When I in the receiver, other people, and me and we, and the other, is a smile. You like her attitude. Is the good attitude. And the take order is very happy and is the attention and very fast. in all moment <laughs> okay uh, they they receive you with a smile basically. yeah smile. they receive you with a smile right. customer service <laughs> customer service, service. <laughs> uh, and the second question well know in my case uh, what should be the worst restaurant experience you have had in only one, only one is, uh, I don't really remember uh, it's a restaurant. Uh, I'm going to go to the next group, continue. Okay. Okay, okay. very good, thank you. Uh, my bad experience, uh, only, I don't remember name of the, the restaurant. Uh, Papa. Experience. Me, me is, is, is very, very experienced in another countries because the tips not included in the, the total bill. And when the, you leave, it is a, hey, 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 give me the tip, give me the tip. Ah, okay, it's a 10%. No, it's 50, it's 20%. What? It's 20%. Okay, go ahead. 20%? Yes. Thank you. Thank you very yes. much. You repay for the food. <laughs> <laughs> yes, in Mexico. In Mexico. It's, it's, oh my God. In, in and, all and, the restaurants. And, restaurant. and, 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 uh, and here, here, uh, 10%. Aquí, uh -huh. in El Salvador, uh, 10%. That is okay. But in other countries, but about in, in Mexico, you pay the bill, uh, extra extra pay is the tips, is the different percentage in some uh, department. Oh uh, my God. <laughs> uh, uh, in, 
in the, in the Mexican city is about entre 10 and 50 percent. But it's, it's between 10 and 15. But in Cancun is uh -huh. 50 and 20, 23 percent. Jesus it's, Christ. It's very expensive. <laughs> it's like, thank you, but no, thank you. <laughs> Okay, I am going to go to the next group. Very nice okay. intervention. Continue, continue answering. Okay. Um, uh, do, do you repeat in the second second question? Mm -hmm. Cases you consider uh, necessary okay. to leave a tip. Um, a good attention. In this case, um, uh, the food, no, uh, only attention, attention, only that. Okay, and the second one is, what has been the worst restaurant experience you have had? No mal experiencia. Yeah. Um, yes. No remember, no remember really. Only in my work. <laughs> <laughs> a, a little uh, fly. Here. I found Yes. Only that. Okay. okay. Only, only at my work is. It? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, I remember, I remember, uh, I remember. I remember. Uh, in the cafeteria, you can say you're in the canteen. Ah, the uh -huh. yes. In the canteen. In the yes. Yeah, I, uh, I had many, many experiences in my ex job in yes. the cafeteria. Oh, no. <laughs> that was like, oh, no. <laughs> Hair in the food. Hair, animals. Yeah. One, one time. Animals, yes. One time. But, but there are very. Very uh, delicious. Uh, very delicious. Mm. <laughs> you feel the crunch uh, from the box. <laughs> protein, pure protein, teacher. Pure protein. <laughs> Sometimes very crunchy. Um, crunchy. This. No, you know, one time, one time I found a piece of newspaper. It was like, uh, I, uh, I found, I found a piece of newspaper with the letters and all that. And I was like, Come on! <laughs> oh, yes. yeah, I know. Where is the rest of the yeah, news? Yeah. I said <laughs> I want to read it complete. <laughs> yeah, well, so this was this was my last group to visit. I am going to bring everybody back to the general room. Okay, let's go. Okay. 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 Hello, everybody. It was very curious to listen to all your bad experiences in restaurants and in, in, in places. Oh my God. <laughs> yes. The last one was the last experience that I, I shared. They say, hey, I found an animal in my food. And they say, it's protein teacher eating. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not at all. So, but it, it's a matter of cleanliness. Were you were you uh, astonished by any specific experience? Lo sorprendió alguna experiencia en específico from your friends? Yes, teacher. Which one? Can you share it with everybody? Uh, Gerardo. Uh, uh, Dice, eh, nos ah, Gerardo said, sell, sell, we, eh, her experience. His experience. Experience. Yeah. yeah, Gerardo, what was your experience? Can you share it with the group? Okay. Uh -huh. One sure is uh, when I went to Guadalajara City, uh, I didn't know that the tips was not included in the bill. Uh, I pay, I pay the bill, and I got to leave the train. And the where is, okay, hey, stop. Pay the, the tip. Oh, 
that's okay. It's a 10%. No, it's 50 and 20%. What? This is 20%. Go ahead. If no pay, no, no live. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Pay the tips. Uh, another another ticket, the pit, the, 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 the tips. One ticket is the, the, food. the food. Another ticket is the tips. Oh my God. Okay. Pay. Uh, oh, go ahead. <laughs> that has been the most expensive <laughs> dish that you have ordered. <laughs> yes. Yes. It's like, okay, no, right? <laughs> And maybe the attention was not that good. <laughs> well, yeah, we feel very sorry for you, Gerardo. Well, so thank you very much for sharing. It is always nice to have these moments of real English sharing, right? Because mechanical English is very, it's very good. It's very easy when you are just repeating, but at the moment of producing real English, it's the real moment on which you test if you are advancing, right? Because when you say, like, okay, tell me about you, about your life, your experiences and all that, that is real English because you have to come from the experience. There is no information in a specific explorer on the internet or anything because the experience comes from you. And it is very interesting to go and listen to you actually sharing uh, your English experiences. And it was very nice. So congratulations, everybody. You did a very good job. Why did I ask you this question? Because the reading that I brought today for the class, it is exactly that, right? To tip or not to tip, right? That it's the case. It's like Shakespeare, right? To tip or not to tip. And uh, we're going to scan the article. And this is based on the information from the United States, right? Um, where to carry a suit in the hotel, how to park your car. There are many people who serve you in fast food restaurants or in any other place, and you don't know if it is correct to give money to these people or just not to leave anything. Here in El Salvador, if, for example, if you go to the barber shop, in some cases, the, the boys give $1 to, to the men who attended them because the service was good, because the attention was nice. Or when you go and you park your car, there is a person helping you there, like, go, 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 go. And then you give a quarter to the person that is considered also a tip, right? Or if you go to a place and you really love the attention that you receive, then you can give a little bit of uh, a reward to the person who attends you. So <clears throat> we are going to go here and uh, it says to tip or not to tip. I am going to go over the reading. If you have new words or new vocabulary, I am going to ask you please to write them in your notebook and you can ask me questions when I finish, okay? Later on, I am going to ask for one volunteer to help me to read, okay? So pay attention on pronunciation. Let's do it. It says, the word tip comes from an old English slang word that means to give. It's both a noun and a verb. Americans usually tip people in places like restaurants, airports, hotels, and hair salons. People who work in these places often get paid low wages. A tip shows that a customer is pleased with the service. The word tip comes from an old English slang word that means to give. It's both a noun and a verb. Americans usually tip before tip people in places like restaurants, airports, hotels, and hair salons. People who work in these places often get paid low wages. A tip shows that the customer is pleased with the service. New words or new vocabulary? Slang. 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 Okay. Slang. And wages. Low, wage. we, low, low wages are low like wages. Low, is, low salaries. Wages. Low, low wages, wages are like okay. low salaries. Oh, okay. And the word slang, it means a street language. A good definition for this one in good Spanish uh, is caliche. Oh, okay. <laughs> that is the best <laughs> okay. definition. Yeah, the best definition that we can have in Spanish for this one is slang is a street language, right? 
It's very, very colloquial language, right? Phrases or things that people have slang specifically word. from a country. Yeah, there are many forms of a slang. In Spanish, we have woo, thousands. We have th thousands of things. Voladito. Yeah, voladito is a slang. Yuca, yuca. Yuca, uh -huh. that's a slang uh, because yeah. an American is going to come and it's going to say like, oh, Que uh, yuca, yuca, like the vegetable, like que yuca. <laughs> no, right? <laughs> no, right? And 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 we mean something different. Este bicho, you say, and you say like bicho, it's the kid, right? And, but it's a slang from mm -hmm. Spanish. <laughs> yeah, for sure. When you say like, when you how you call an American in 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 Spanish, don't say the word because that it's not permitted. So, but that's slang, right? It's slang. It's, it's a form of a very colloquial language or uh, specific from a place. Uh, wages, low wages are uh, low salaries, low amounts of money. Now I need one brave volunteer to read this small paragraph. Manuel Villegas, go ahead. Or do you have a question? Okay. The word tips come from an old English slang, slang word that means to give. It's both a noun and a verb. Americans usually tip people in places like restaurants, airports, airports, hotels, and hair salons. People who work in this place often get paid low wages. A tip shows that the customer is placed with the service. Okay, you say hotels, hotels. Yes, hotels. Okay. Hotels. 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 No. Hotels. Oh, okay. Hotels. 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 Okay. Hotel. Hotel. And hair salons. Hair salons. Hair salons. Yes, There's and a lot. that the customer is pleased, pleased, uh, pleased. pleased, pleased with the service. Very good job. Thank se you. Se la D al final, o solo se termina con e. Sorry. It's, it's like like around pleased. like it's not D. It's like pleased. It, it will sound like a T. Pleased. 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 It's pleased oh, okay. with service. Good. Pleased. Very good job. Okay. So re Thanks. reactions for Manuel. He was the brave volunteer for this part of the reading. We're going to continue with the next part of the reading. Okay, another brave is going to appear. Chin, chin, chin. Let me just make it smaller because it's too big. Okay, there we go. And here we go. We're going to move this one up and I'm going to close this one. Let me see if I can make it a little bit bigger. Yeah, sometimes it's hard to know how much to tip. The size of the tip usually depends on the service. People such as parking ballets or bellhops usually get smaller tips. The tip for people such as taxi drivers and waiter, waiters or waitresses is usually larger. Here are a few guidelines for tipping in the United States. So far, so good with the paragraph. Questions with the first paragraph? What is bell that? Hops? Bell hops. Bell hops. It's the one that it's yes, in, in the hotel. It's in the hotel and it's like, can I help you with your bags? Botones. Uh, oh, botones. botones. In Spanish. Uh, yes. Can botones. I help you with that? <laughs> and they help you with the things, right? The parking ballets, it's the person who parks the car, right? The parking ballets is the person who parks your car when you are driving. And they usually get smaller tips. And taxi drivers, waiters, or waitresses, usually uh, the tips for them is usually larger. Any other question about the vocabulary here? Guidelines. 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 Uh, Tips, right? Yeah, yeah, I think. Guias, uh-huh. 
Four guys, similar. It's like no. here are a few guidelines, unos lineamientos. That's the word in Spanish. Lineamientos. Ah, lineamientos. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, I was okay. in my in my internal dictionary. I was like, Thank you. <laughs> yes, guidelines. Guidelines. I confuses. Yeah, here are a few guidelines for tipping in the United States. De cómo dar propina. So, the first one goes. Who's going to be the volunteer to read the first paragraph? This one. Okay. Me too, teacher. Okay, Janira and Carlos. First, uh, Janet, go ahead. Sometimes it's hard to know how much to tip. The size of the tip usually depends on the service. People such as parking valets or hops usually get smaller tips. The tip for people such as taxi drivers and waiters and waitresses is usually larger. Here are a few guidelines for tipping in the, Uni in the United States. Excellent. Thank you very much. Fantastic job, Janita. Reactions for Janita and Carlos Antonio. Go ahead, read it. Okay. Sometimes it's hard to know how much to tip. The size of the tip usually depends on the service. People such as parking belts or bellhops usually get smaller tips. The tip for people such as taxi drivers and waiters or waitress is usually large. Here are a few guidelines for tippings in the United States. Okay, excellent job. Thank you, Carlos Antonio. Very good. Reactions for Carlos. Uh, the pronunciation say larger. It's larger. 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 Here are a few guidelines for tipping in the United States. Okay, let's go over the guidelines. And it says, Airport porters or hotel bellhops. It is one or two dollars for carrying each suitcase. So imagine if you have it, if you have seven bags, two dollars per bag. It would be like, yeah, a lot of money. Parking ballets, one dollar for parking the car. The hotel door attendants, one or two dollars for getting a taxi. Right? The person that it's outside the hotel and you say like can you get me a taxi, please? And it's like, in this moment, hey, we need a taxi here in the hotel. And then they pay uh, one or two dollars just to get a taxi for you. Or just to go on the street and it's like, taxi. And then they stop the taxi for you. You have to give one or two dollars. The hotel maids are the ones in charge of cleaning and organizing uh, the room. Uh, it's one to five dollars per night. The taxi drivers, 15% of the bill and more, you have to give more money if they help you with your things. So if the taxi driver goes down and he helps you with your bags from the supermarket, you have to give more money in the United States, right? Waiters and waitresses, it's 15 to 20% of the bill. And in the fast food restaurants, you don't have to give a tip. Uh, either here in El Salvador, in fast food restaurants, you don't have to give a tip. And in the barber shops or the hairstylist, 15% of the bill. So if you see it like that, it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money that it is just on uh, tips. So we have the second paragraph. I need two other volunteers to help me with the second paragraph. Griselda, go ahead, and Humberto. Ladies first, Briselda, go ahead. When you're not sure about how much to tip, do what feels right. You don't have to tip for bad service. And you can give a bigger tip for very good service. Remember, tell your behaviors is more important than your money. Always treat service providers with respect. Excellent job. Hey, you read even the paragraph that I had and read. And it's amazing because you took the courage to do it. And it was very good. It, it, was, it was very nice. No, it was perfect. For me, it was very good. Yes. Excellent. Yes. Thank you. Perfect. Excellent, Griselda. Humberto, go ahead. 
You can start on the first one and the second one. <laughs> the first one. Okay. Airport porters uh, or hotel bell bellhops. One or two dollars for carrying each suitcase. Uh -huh. Parking ballots, one for parking a car. Hotel door attendants, one or two dollars for getting a taxi. Uh, hotel mails, one to five per night. Taxi driver, 15. 15%. 15% uh, of the bill, more if they help you with bucks. Exactly. Um, Waiters and waitress, uh, 15 and 20 percent of the bill. There is not tipping on fast food restaurants. Excellent. Barbers or hairstylists, uh, 15 percent of 15, the bill. 15 percent. 15 percent of the bill. Excellent. Very good job. And the last one for sure. When you are not sure about how much to tip, do what feels right, okay? Haz lo que te parezca mejor. Haz lo que te parezca correcto. You don't have to tip for bad service. And you can give a bigger tip for very good service. Remember, though, your behavior is more important than your money. Always treat service providers with respect. That is the most important thing, okay? Any question on vocabulary on this one? Uh, behavior. 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 Comportamiento. Behavior. Comportamiento. Behavior. That it's behavior. Oh, okay. okay. Behavior. Any other question? No? Always treat. treat. Siempre. Uh -huh. oh, tra treat. Tratar. That is the meaning of okay. treat. Tratar. Tratar, but when, when you are dealing with people. Provider yes. with respect, así, completo. Okay, providers, okay. The sentence is, always treat service providers with respect. Siempre trata a los proveedores de servicio con respeto. Okay, that, is, that is the last part here, right? Very good job, excellent. And let me see. I am going to go over the next part. So, Janet, tell me. Just like an observation. observation uh -huh. yeah. Yes. Uh, for example, in Korea, for uh, it's considered an offense for those who take care of you to leave a tip because they consider you, that you are telling then that they are they are poor oh in korea yeah so if you are taking care of a person you don't have yeah, to give them a tip yeah oh. they don't have they don't want because they they think oh you're telling me i'm poor oh my god <laughs> well yeah. that is that is very good to know i think japan too yeah, in, in Japan. I mean, that it's basically in yeah. Japan. And, and there are other countries, for example, uh, once I went to Guatemala, and the person that was attending us for every single thing that we used to do, he was like, waiting for, for everything to give him money. And I was like, come on. <laughs> he was just following me everywhere. And he used to open the door, for example, and he was like, asking me for money and I was like <laughs> thank you and then and then he, he asked me and it's like hey where are you from and I, I was like yeah and he, and he told me where are you from and I said like yeah. from El Salvador <laughs> <laughs> and he, maybe he thought that I was from another country and I was like come on I am from El Salvador I was born in Santa Ana come on near El Tazumal I am almost autochthonous from El Salvador <laughs> because he was after me like asking for money all the time so it is it is a matter of culture it's a matter of culture definitely and in, in here in our country uh, every person who does a service I mean they don't really ask you for a tip but it's on you if you want to provide a little bit of help or not so here we have the words in the article 
like, and it's very awesome that you found most of them and you asked me for most of them. It is very curious because all the, the questions that you asked me were the ones that were included in uh, this part of vocabulary. So what is the meaning of wages? As I explained you. It's a regular, regular pay. pay for job. Exactly, right? It's a regular payment for the job. And in some cases when they have low wages or low salaries, it's this, right? It's a regular payment, mm -hmm. it's low. What it's pleased? A happy or satisfied. Happy, happy, happy or satisfied. Happy or satisfied. You say like, I am pleased with the service. I am pleased with the place. I am pleased with the restaurant. So if you are pleased with the service and the restaurant, then you are happy and satisfied about uh, everything that you receive. What about the next one? Depend on. Paying according, according, according to. Paying according to. Uh, yeah, depending on, right? You change according to. Depending on the way you were attending, so it's going to be your response. What about the next one? Behavior. A way of, a way, a way way of acting. Way of acting. A, way of a way of acting, right? Your behavior tells a lot about you. Behavior. Treat. Act toward. Act toward. Act toward. Excellent. How do you act towards a person, right? Your reaction. How do you uh, actually... Uh, behave in front of a person that it's to treat how you treat the person and respect courtesy. 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 Courtesy, courtesy courtesy right courtesy and the other words that we have here when you have annoyed or bother this one is the contrary it's like a noise like Hush. Ah. bother is like ah, come on yeah good enough that it's the meaning of bother and rudeness is a um, when you answer or when you respond in a not very polite way, it's like, imagine if you are in a restaurant and you say like, mesero, venga. so that's rude. And you are not going to be like, hey, hey, come on, what happened, right? And courtesy is like, eh, eh, could you please come? Can you come? Can you help me? Right? So that is a matter of courtesy. And rudeness is the total opposite thing. Excellent. So now you have your part of an exam completed. Here, according to what we were talking about yesterday, it says, may I take your order? For sure, you say, I will, when you have something specific to order. And when you have options, you can use would, right? Like in the second sentence, may I take your order? Yes, I will have the roast beef with mashed potatoes. What kind of dressing? Would you? Would. Would you like? Ah, would you, would like, you like? like? Very good. Prefer. Would you like on your salad? French, Italian, or vinaigrette? Fle French? Please. 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 Right? You have to be polite. We're talking about courtesy. French, please. Yeah. And would you like? Anything, any, any, any to drink? Would you like anything, anything to drink? Yes. I will. 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 Okay. In this case, I am going to go for I will. I will. Because you have specifically what you want. I will have iced coffee. I will have iced coffee. Anything else? No. No, thank, thank, you. You. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So you can thank say no thanks. Thank you. No thanks. And you can say that will be all. No thanks. That will be all. So, students, may I take your order? Yes. I have yes. I have, I have the roast beef with mashed potatoes. With mashed potatoes. Mashed, mashed potatoes. Mashed. Mashed. Don't say give me mashed potatoes. No, say mashed, mashed, <laughs> mashed potatoes. <laughs> and you and you go with your dish to the kitchen. Give, give me mashed potatoes. <laughs> mashed. 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 potatoes. Yeah, that's what you're going to go. <laughs> what kind of dressing would you like on your salad? French, Italian, or vinaigrette? 
French, please. French, please. French, please. French, please. please. And would you like anything French. to drink? Yes. 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 I will have ice coffee. To have ice coffee. coffee. Anything else? No. 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 Thank you. Thank you. That's no. all. Be all. Oh. Yeah. That will be all. Okay. Let's Thank go you. with the next customer. That will be all. Let's go with the next customer. Okay, in the options here, in the options that we have, it says, uh, would you like fries or call slow? Call slow is like, a, a, how do you call this in, in, in Spanish? Ensalada de repollo, repollo. Ah. Would you uh, like French fries campero, or call slow? <laughs> Pollo campero salad. Yeah, the campero salad. I will have the call slow, please. Uh, if I ask you the question, because in this case you don't say, guess, I guess I will, thanks. No, right, that is not the option. I will have the call slow, please. Or yes, please, it's not an option for an answer. In the question. Oh, let me. Okay. In the question. What kind of soda would you like? I will have a cola. I will have a I'll cola. Have a cola. I, will have a cola. I, will I will have a cola. cola. I will have a cola. I will have a cola and not a cola there on a the table. I will have a cola, please. Uh, you cannot say I would like a hot dog because they say what kind of soda <laughs> would you like, right? I will have a cola. Would you like anything to drink? No thanks. Uh, no thanks. Nothing. No thanks. No thanks. No thanks. No thanks. No would you like anything to drink? I will have chocolate cake. Come on. <laughs> Put the chocolate cake here. I'm going to drink it. No I thanks. Need a, I need a chocolate drink. <laughs> a chocolate drink? Maybe. Yeah, a chocolate drink. It will be possible, but a chocolate cake for a drink? Maybe not. What flavor ice cream would you like? Vanilla, Vanilla please. Please. Yeah, please. Vanilla, please. Vanilla, please. If you say bake, please, it's like horneado, por favor. No, right. That's not a, an option. What what flavor ice cream would you like? Ice cream, please. No, right. Vanilla. Would you like anything else? No, 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 no. Are you no, sure? No. Would you like anything that else? That would be all thanks. That would be, be all thanks. That will be all thanks. If you that answer, not at all, thanks. Would you like all. anything yeah. else? I know para nada, gracias. It's like, no, right? That's not the option. The option. That will be all. Thanks. Mm -hmm. I got it. I got it. I got okay. it. Okay. Good. Be all. Thanks. That will be all. Thanks. So let's see, I am going to ask uh, someone else. Uh, Janita, do you have any question or is just your hand up? Oh, Mr. Let me see, Mr. Adrian, what kind of soda would you like? Mr. Adrian Ernesto, excellent. I have a, a, co a cola. <clears throat> excellent. Let's see, Adrian, ask another person the next question. Okay, um, I see uh, Humberto. Uh -huh. Ask uh, question number three. Uh, would you like anything to drink? Would you like anything to drink? Humberto, would you like anything to drink? Okay. I number three. Number three. No thanks. <laughs> Good. Humberto, ask number four to another person. Um Carlos Antonio. Hmm. Okay, number four. What flavor ice cream would you like? Uh Vanilla, vanilla is, is, is good for me. Vanilla, please. Thank you. And ask the next question to another person, Carlos. Um, Gerardo, okay. uh, would you like anything else? That will be all, thanks. 
Excellent. Very good job. You did it. Very nice. Like, would you like? Would you like? Remember the pronunciation. Would you like? Would you like? Would you like? Would you like? Fantastic. Let's go with the last review about restaurants. And it says, in a restaurant, the waiter or waitress takes your order, right? She doesn't take your menu, right? She doesn't take the menu uh, or the service because she brings the menu, right? She doesn't take it from you. It's like, give me the menu, right? She gives you the menu and she takes your order. What about number two? Read the sentence and give me the option that you consider correct. Spicy. Healthy. Healthy. Ah, okay, we have greasy, healthy, spicy, lottery, yes. Healthy. 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 No. Baked no. potatoes. Greasy. Are are less greasy, yes. Greasy. 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 Son menos grasosas. Baked potatoes are greasy. less greasy than French fries. Okay, because uh, French fries, French fries are not very healthy and they are not spi spicy, right? But baked potatoes are less greasy. Tienen menos grasa que las papas fritas. Number mm -hmm. three. Many people like on their salad. Dressing. Dressing. Dressing, dressing right? Dressing, dressing. Dressing. What is dressing? Dressing. What is dressing? Aderezo. Ah, okay. Okay. Dessert on your salad? Maybe not. And soda in your salad? Only if you have children. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my experience, right? <laughs> only, only if you have children, you are going to have soda in the salad, in the food, in your clothes, over your body, yeah, all over, on the table, on the floor, yeah, soda, everywhere, everywhere. everywhere. Some people, some people rarely cook with spices. They prefer food. Mm -hmm. Spices are the things that you put on the on the food for you to rich. add extra what flavor. Means bland? Rich, what bland. means bland? Rich. Rich. Okay. Rich. Okay. Rich. What means bland? Sorry. Okay, bland is a. Uh, it's as, as in Spanish. Blando. Soft, uh, simple. Blando, simple. 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 Blando. 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 No. Simple. Like. Simple. So, so. Neutral. <laughs> so. Uh, hot, it's caliente, right? In this uh, case, it's uh, it can rich. be like rich soup, rich rich soup, <laughs> rich food, rich food, rich food. And uh, if you consider like a bland as simple, it will be as well. If you prefer food with no or <laughs> specific flavor, right? They For prefer sure. bland uh, flavor. Yes. What is rich in Spanish? Rich, it's, uh, well, in this case, it's not that it has money, but it has uh, the, the good flavor, rica. Delicious. Delicious. Like, when you, when you prove, when you taste the food, when you prove, come on, when you taste the food, it's mm -hmm. like, mm, hey, it tastes good, right? Ya ven, yo misma me regaño, eso es lo bueno. <laughs> vanilla, <laughs> vanilla is a popular ice cream. Flavor. Flavor. Flavor, right? Vanilla is a popular flavor. ice cream. Flavor, right? Flavor. 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 Excellent job. So with this, we're going to close our topic about food. We're going to close our topic about food. And I'm going to make just a little introduction in these last five minutes that we have about the next topic that are geographic features. Do you know what geographic features means? Geographic no. features. Features, I don't know, geographic geography. is geographic. Different, different place of the world. Exactly. Features or are a, a specific point or a specific things of geography. And for this one, we are going to we're going to go over 
uh, a little bit of vocabulary just to introduce this. This is what we're going to work on our last class of the okay. week tomorrow. And these are different geographical features. And they are specific places that you have in a country, okay. in, in the world, uh, in different cities, okay. right? And these are the ones that you can actually see. A specific features that we have in El Salvador are the beaches, right? Because uh, every person who comes to El Salvador knows that we have this excellent feature in our country. This is the landmark that they have to visit. It's like, hey, we need to go to the beach because the beaches in El Salvador are amazing. And there are other things that we don't have. Well, it looks like if we have, but we don't have. For example, the desert. The desert, it's something that we don't have. Now with all the deforestation and all that, we look like mm -hmm. if we have in some places. It's the same. <laughs> yes, it feels the same. And mm -hmm. but we don't actually have one place on which you say like see sí, el desierto de San Miguel. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, right. Almost. Almost. Oh it does any of you live in San Miguel? No, right. <laughs> The most the famous beach in El Salvador, El Mahawal. Yeah, El Mahawal, <laughs> it's the most popular. Well, now with the pandemic, uh, we, we would like people the not to go. The second most. It's the, the second the first most. Is El Tunco. Uh, yeah, but I think I think El Tunco, it's for a, like. Actually, like, the right. surf. Uh -huh, for the surf and all that. But I think that if we categorize them, uh, El Mahawal is for everybody. El Mahawal is for everybody. Is and in some team. cases, and in Metalio some cases, too. yeah, Metalio too. And, and in some cases, El Tunco is a little bit like for media class or something like that because they like to go to restaurants tourist. and dance, tourists and all that. In El Mahawal, mm, you can find delicious Every. fish, delicious Every. fish for $2. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they don't pay me for the commercials. Go with Niña María en el Mahawal. It's very good. <laughs> no, Niña María, si me está viendo. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Okay, forest. forest. Forest, yes, we have. In El Salvador, we have beautiful forests. Um, in in this side of Pital. Santa Ana, El Pital. Ante Chalapena, Cristo. Algo. El Imposible. Ante Cristo. El Impossible. The Impossible el because verde. it's almost impossible to go up. <laughs> why it's called the impossible forest it's a very beautiful place indeed hills do you know what's the meaning of hill hills uh, uh, hill? uh -huh, but what, what would be the meaning of hill i hear the uh, sound of the, the weekend the hills. Uh, colina colina right very good colina islands we Island. have one we have one the conejo the Conchagua yeah. Island. <laughs> yeah, you, you have one, one Isla Conejo. And there's Lake. another one in Cuatepeque Lake. 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 In Cuatepeque. Do we have one in Guija? Yeah. 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 So yeah. The, the little island. The pronunciation is island. It's not island, okay? It's island. 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 Lake. Yes, we have Please. beautiful lakes in our country. And even Cuatepeque Lake changes the color. So it yeah. changes, it yeah. changes clothes. Yes. <laughs> Turkeys. We have mountains. 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 Mm -hmm. mountains. mountains. Say mountain. 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 Okay. Mountain. mountain. Listen. Mm. It's, listen. Mm. It's. Mountain. 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 Ocean? Yes, for sure. We have all ocean. the Pacific Ocean, right? The yes. Pacific yeah. Ocean. And it's curious because you say, oh, yeah, the ocean and all that. And the beach, the beach is only the part that has sand. That is the beach. The only, the part that has sand. Okay, solo la parte que tiene arena. Le podemos llamar? Beach. beach and also in the rivers we have beach okay mm -hmm. it's not actually the rest the rest is the ocean right the ocean river yes we have ooh, mm. many lempa rivers river. lempa, lempa river lempa, lempa la paz we Paz have many. 
So what? Valleys. Valleys. We have. Valley. Sa San Andres Valley. San Andres. San Andres, San Andres Valley. Valley. Yes, it's true. Yes. Tell me. Yeah. In the case of Rio Grande, I say Rio in Espanol or River Grande. Okay. You say Grande River. Lempa River. Uh, Chuco River. Okay. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. The and one what? that is in Opico. I know. And the last ones are volcano and you know what volcanoes are for sure. And waterfall that is cascadas. Water, oh, waterfall. 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 Water that falls. Water, waterfall. Why you are waterfall. The why you are waterfall. Okay, so uh, that is going to be our class for tomorrow. So try to give a quick look to a section number four on the platform so you can be prepared to what we are going to do tomorrow. So yeah. have a beautiful night and I am going to see you in the next session that it's tomorrow or last class before going on vacation, okay? Okay, so okay. thank you. Have a beautiful okay. night. Okay. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye.